everyone, this is Gary with your cards of the day. And once again, we have four cards today because as I was shuffling the cards that make up the middle portion of today's reading, I split the cards, selected the top card from the split, and there was one card still poking out of the middle of the deck, forcing itself into our reading today. So the decks that I'm using are the Golden Dawn uh, Ritual Magic Tarot deck. I'm using a deck I really don't use very often and probably should use more, which is the Runic Tarot by Caroline Smith and John Astrup. And this is a very unusual deck because it's not a tarot deck at all. It's a rune deck that also has astrological associations and the Wheel of the Year included. And you'll see it's quite interesting. And I have a conventional tarot deck in the Druidcraft tarot. So our first card for today is the Four of Swords, and how happy are we to see this card emerge? Uh, after the week that a lot of us have had this week, to see a card that is tagged as Rest from Strife is a real boon. And what we have here is a card that is Jupiter ruling Libra, and the message here really is one of just taking a break, taking a rest. This really is the sort of calm after the storm. Uh, in kind of conventional pictorial decks, this is usually shown as a warrior laying on a bed, recuperating, recovering. So the message here very strongly is one of recovery, it's one of taking a break, taking a rest after the difficulties that we've been experiencing this, this week, which certainly is, is very true for me. And also, the other thing that draws me very strongly here is the Jupiter symbol, which is up here, which is about fortune, be it good or, or not so good. And the sort of cycle of things, the kind of wheel of life in a way. And if you remember our reading from yesterday, we had the Two of Pentacles, which had this kind of figure of eight, kind of wheel going up and down. And I said at the time that even if it's on a downward spiral, it can turn and go back up. And this really is it turning and going back up. This is Jupiter coming in to push things off the bottom and send them back up in the direction they need to go. So this is about taking a break and having a, a fairly, uh, as easy a day as you can possibly have today. Taking the stress out of the day. Now, our second card today is Eoch. And Eol is a, for a start, quite a difficult word to pronounce. I'll show you the spelling of it. There it is. Sometimes referred to as Algis. And in this particular instance, what we have is a room here, which is all about protection. And this very much gives me a sense of, look after yourself today. Protect yourself. Don't give too much of yourself to things. Always keep some back and really just just sort of moderate your efforts so that you don't leave yourself vulnerable today. Really, you know, sort of keep that protected side of yourself in there. Think of it, what I'm seeing here with this image, we have this beautiful multicolored bird here which is clearly a bird designed more for its image for its beauty than it is as an aggressive fighting bird so how does it protect itself it uses the sedge grass which is another meaning of this card 
to kind of conceal itself. So it may be that the protection today is retreating slightly, keeping yourself slightly out of harm's way and invisible. That might be one way in which you could protect yourself today. Another way of protecting yourself is showing itself to me from the Astrological Association of Scorpio. So Scorpio to me, I always think of the, the, the animal associated, which is the scorpion, which goes along its merry way, but it has huge claws at the front. So it can protect itself in that way. And it has that sting. So the message from the, from the scorpion really is be a little bit prickly, not aggressively so, but sort of putting out a, a, an aura of sort of don't mess with me in a way. And this again is echoing something we had yesterday. So there's many different ways in which you could choose to protect yourself today, but protect yourself is definitely the message here. Looking after yourself, as I said before. Our third card today is Feoch. There it is. And Feoch, which mercifully is a little easier to pronounce, is a card of wealth. It's a card of strength in some respects. Um, but this is a more kind of ordered and um, grounded in a way strength to my way of, of thinking and you know th this really speaks to me of having lots of uh, energy and lots of physicality in reserve so it's, it really is about sort of having your your power in a way in reserve having having those sort of um, having the batteries fully charged in a sense and you know keeping keeping that in reserve so that you have always got a supply of um, energy of physical well-being and you're very wealthy in that respect I mean obviously there could be a, a monetary association to this as well in the sense of you know, keeping some finances back so that you always have a sort of a, a rainy day kind of reserve. There could be an element of that as well here. But this feels much more today like a reading of um, you yourself and looking after yourself. So I'm going slightly more towards the idea of a physical energy reserve and be making sure that you're wealthy in that respect and that you have that you have that with you we also have an astrological association of aries so again that strength is sort of indicated there and that ability to sort of deal with whatever you have to deal with it's it's there within you and our final card for today is the hanged man and this is very interesting because again this just indicates that it's taking a break it's not moving forward because the hanged man in in this kind of position really can't he's just got to stay where he is regenerate himself look at his situation not in a, an unpleasant way not in an unhappy way just content to be where he is and stay there for as long as it takes for him to be ready to move to the next thing so here we very much have a, a card indicating contentment to just be and to rest so if we look at these four cards together it's quite interesting we have, first of all, the Four of Swords, giving us a break from strife, giving us a rest, telling us to recuperate and recharge ourselves after previous difficulties, and reminding us with Jupiter 
that things do turn around and they do improve. We have Eolg, which is all about protecting ourselves. However we choose to do that, whatever works with our particular predisposed attitudes. That could be hiding ourselves slightly. It could be guarding ourselves in a more um, receptive manner, a more shielding manner. Or it could be being a little bit more prickly, a bit like the scorpion, and saying, no, keep your distance, and protecting ourselves that way. But protection is the message there. We have wealth of Feoch here telling us to keep something in reserve. Stay, in a sense, wealthy of energy and of physical uh, strength. And always making sure that we have enough in reserve to deal with whatever it is that we have to deal with. And we have the hanged man counseling us to be content to just be where we are, when we are, to rest, consider, and wait for the time when we are ready to move things forward. So I hope you've enjoyed these cards of the day, and this rather interesting mix of tarot, runes, and astrology. As always, please feel free to leave me some comments, and let me know how these themes interacted with your day. It would be very interesting to hear. Please also feel free to check out my website, www.theseerscave.webs.com, for more information about my tools, myself, and the readings that I offer. I want to wish everyone a wonderful, happy, relaxed, and recharging Sunday, and love, light, blessings, and freeth to you all.